Brick, brick, pam, brick, brick, pam, brick, pam, brick, brick, pam, brick, brick, pam, brick. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I am doing good myself, even though it is super, super hot right now. Um, and I don't know why I decided to wear a sweater, but that's besides the point. Please let me know what you guys think of the lighting from my first video. I feel like this is a lot better. I got two lights that my sister gave me and also my ring light, which is behind my phone right now. And I feel like this is serving me very well. I just don't know if I need a bigger ring light. This is, I think it is a... I want to say it's, it might be a six inch. Is it a six inch? I don't know. It might be a six inch, but it might, I think it's an eight inch. Okay, but it doesn't matter. But the point is, I feel like this is a lot better for me. I'm in my room right now. The first video I did record was at my sister's and I feel like the lighting that is coming from my window, you guys can see a little bit of the light going on right here. And also the ring lights plus the lights that I have on the side, the studio lights, I feel like it's doing a justice. So um, let's get started with the video. Before I do, I know I'm going to get thirsty, so I need my sparkling water. I call, what do you guys call this? I say Perrier because I want to sound bougie. But ooh, okay. Ooh, let me do some ASMR for y'all. All right, I got my little cup right here, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I don't even know if you guys can hear anything. Ooh. Mm. All right. Woo! Girl, I was thirsty. It took me like eight hours to get ready for this video. I've been in quarantine for like a month and a half. Y'all already know what it is. And I swear to you, I forgot how to do my makeup. I don't even, right now in the camera, it might look like a sling, but girl, it is not sling. It took me forever to fix my makeup. I kept messing up. Oh my God, I'm experienced. Okay, so I got a few questions. I put on a post on my IG, follow me, underscore makeup on fleek. Um, I can do a part two of the Q&A questions. I just put down like 20 questions from the ones that you guys gave me. I didn't want this to be a really long video. I want you guys to get to know me a little bit more. So there's just a few questions that I thought were funny and also things that, you know, I like to do and whatnot. So whatever. Um, I think I'm going to start. What I have right here is my iPad. And the reason why I'm doing it like that is because I don't know what camera to get yet. If you guys have any recommendations on what camera I should purchase, please let me know. Um, I also have like a big lens, so I gotta make sure that it fits, the camera fits the lens that I have. So until then, I'm just gonna be using my camera and honestly, my phone, I apologize. Um, I still think it's doing me really good. So for right now, it's my phone and then I have the questions on my tablet right here. So question number one, what pisses you off, AJ? So, girl, honestly, a lot pisses me off, okay? Cause I can't deal with people. Half the time people be pissing me off and I don't got time for it. People know I have zero tolerance for slow people. And by slow people, I mean people who have no energy. They don't pick up their feet as they walk. Like if they have errands to run, they be dragging their feet, they be taking forever. Or if they're doing their job, it's like they're just taking too long. I can't stand people like that. Like I got things to do, places to be. I don't like people who just take their time when they're doing something. It drives me insane. I don't like slow people, period. That's the one thing that honestly pisses me off. And being in retail, and I've been in, um, I've been in management for quite some time, so dealing with employees that work so slow, it literally, oh God, it, it drives me crazy and I cannot deal with that, okay? So, that's question number one. Number two. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Now, girl, mm. Mm. I'm sorry, I was just so thirsty today. Have you ever been in a physical fight? I have been in, I, I have been in like maybe three, three, four fights. Fights, I don't even know how to speak English anymore. Um, I've been in like three, four, to, yeah. Girl, I don't even know, but two was really bad. One almost had me hospitalized. The girl was like in ninth grade. I was in like third grade. She whipped my behind. I was, and plus, mind you, when I was back in third grade, I was like half the size that I am now. And the girl was huge. She was tall. She was, you know, big. 
she beat me up. That can be definitely a story time because I know you guys are going to probably have a blast listening to, getting, to listening to me getting beat up. So let me know in the comments below if you guys want to know that story time. But yeah, I've been in about three to four fights, physical fights before. Um, Henny or Patron? Girl. <laughs> and I know who wrote this to me, but I definitely got to say Henny. Uh, dark liquor all the way, boo-boo. We ain't doing no white liquor over here, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next question. What do people like you for? Mmm, I don't know. I want to say energy. I feel like I have great energy. Well, it depends. Honestly, like if I'm having a bad day, you don't want to be by me because I am super negative. I got hella bad attitude. But when I'm in a good mood and I'm around people, honestly, my energy be passing through like to everybody else and we all could have a blast like i'm very down to earth i'm humble as hell i don't judge nobody i'd be having a good ass time and a lot of people that hang out with me that have met me recently um they know i'm just a chill ass person so um i guess my energy i think that's why people like to mess with me you know what i'm saying um do you wear makeup every day no i do not i used to wear makeup every day because all my makeup people, y'all already know, like when you guys start doing makeup and you know, you, you're learning how to do makeup and you kind of go like day, every day you're wearing this, you know, different types of looks or whatever, you're getting yourself into makeup. And then like one day you don't wear makeup, you feel like a damn ghost. Y'all already know who, what I'm talking about. Um, I felt like that when I was growing up, getting to know a little bit more about makeup. I could not leave the house without makeup. And I'm talking about, I would not walk anywhere without makeup. And now as you get older, honestly, I don't care. Like if you think I'm cute or not cute, you know what I'm saying? Like it don't really phase me. So I'm gonna do what I wanna do. So no, I don't wear makeup every day, boo boo. How old are you? Well, you know, I'm two going on three. <laughs> no, girl. So I am 26. Why did I have to look at my question to answer that? I don't know. But I am 26 on paper, 27 on in real life. Uh, reason being why I am coming from Turkey. So when I was born over there, my dad messed up my age. Um, so he put I was like a year younger than I was because my birthday's in January. I mean, I ain't complaining. 26 is better than 27. What is your nationality? I am Turkish, 100%. <laughs> oh, my Turkish people. Nussel Sunus. Subscribe to my channel, I. All right. Okay. <laughs> How are you such a badass And girl. Y'all already know, you know what I'm saying? You born with it. You born with it. You can't be, you can't make yourself a badass. You know what I'm saying? You just all born with it. You just gotta have that swag, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, girl. What is your fat? What's your favorite animal? Ooh, this is tricky. I got a thing for lions and horses. Lions, horses, and dogs. They're like my favorite three animals. Mmm. Okay, next question, guys. Are you starting a channel just to get money? Um, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Yes and no. I really just like talking and letting people know who I am. I have a lot of personality and a lot of knowledge and experience in life in general. So I feel like I can definitely change a lot of people's lives. And what better way to do it than to be on YouTube? There's so many people that could watch you. I get to network with so many people. I get to change people's lives. I want to make an impact on everyone's life. So, like, why not? I can get paid to do what I love. It's something that I wanted to do for many years. And I've never had the ball to honestly go ahead and, like, say, oh, you know what, I'm going to start making a YouTube videos. Um, but it's honestly, like, I feel happy right now. Legit, looking at myself. I know you guys are gonna find this weird, but looking at myself and, you know, preparing to make a video for y'all, even though I don't have many subscribers yet, but this is a start, and I feel like if you are determined, you can become as big as you want, and I know I'm going to get there, period. Um, so, yes, am I doing it for the money? Of course, but I'm also doing it because it's something that I would love to do as a forever thing for me. Woo! Okay, next question. Let me see. What do I want to answer? Oh, coffee or tea? Now, y'all, if you guys know me, 
I'm a coffee lover, but so long story short, I did get sick about two weeks ago. Um, was it two weeks ago? Like two weeks ago, I was bed sick, got a fever. I don't know if it was, you know, the virus, but um, I was extremely sick and I've been, I was drinking tea like every single day. My mom was making me tea like three, four times a day. Uh, lemongrass tea, Turkish tea, herbal tea, you know, all the teas. So I never really drank coffee for two and a half weeks. And to be honest with you, I still have not drank coffee. I've been drinking tea this whole time. So I think I'm gonna have to say tea now. What's your favorite meal of the day? Y'all already know, breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal. It has to be extremely, there. you know, I gotta have my cheeses, my, my egg, my breads, my tea, my orange juice, um, Turkish tea, you guys already know how it is. Um, you know, sofre donuts you have zaten. Um, and I will explain what that means in English probably down here somewhere. But basically, I love breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. What makeup item can't you live without? I think I said this in my first video, but highlight. Highlight is like my holy grail boo boo. You see the highlight right now? If you, girl, if you walk out your house and you beat your face and you don't put highlight on, I don't understand what's wrong with you because you need to put on highlight, okay? It literally makes you glow. Like, do you see how much I'm glowing? Like, come on, girl, get, get it together. Get it together, sis. Get it together. What is the first thing you notice about a person? Mm. I want to say the first thing that I notice about a person is the way that they carry themselves. Um, looks, I don't really care about looks. Well, let me not be a hypocrite. I do care about looks, but I feel like the most important thing that catches my eye is how you carry yourself in public. That is super important to me. And like some people don't know how to carry themselves. They don't know how to act in public and I don't got time for that. Like we don't got time for that over here, okay? What's your sign? Take a guess, comment down below. No. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius. Y'all already know, January 22nd, Aquarius gang, you know how we do it. We're the best out there, don't be hating. I don't even wanna fight with y'all because you guys already know Aquarius is the best. All right, next question. I think I'm gonna do a few more questions. I don't want this to be a long video. So, someone said, how are you so strong? Um, honestly, life experiences um you know as a well as me i'm like i said i'm 26 years old and sometimes i feel a lot older than my age just because of the life um i, I don't want to say like stress or you know just just life in general it really teaches you how to become a strong individual i'm very independent i don't do, I rely on anyone for anything i do everything by myself um, it's just how I was raised, I guess. Like my father, my mom, you know, they were there for me 110%, but at the end of the day, they gave me my independence to become a strong woman. And I feel like that really helps in growing, you know, your family, where you come from, how you were raised. All of that really matters on how much or how, or how strong you can be. Um, you know, people are gonna knock you down and they're gonna talk shit. A lot of people are gonna say things, not everyone's gonna like you, and that's okay. You don't have to have everybody liking you. As long as you know who you are and what's in your heart, that's all that matters. You have to be strong. You can't just let things get to you in life because trust me, things are gonna hit rock bottom. One day things are gonna even get worse to what, you, what you're dealing with at that very moment, and you're gonna have to learn how to overcome it. There's no if, buts, or ands, because if you don't, then no one's going to help you do it. Like, I'm a firm believer, I have family, I have um, my sister, my brother, I have a whole bunch of family in Turkey, but at the end of the day, when shit hits the fan, I need to know that I gotta take care of my own business. I need to make sure that I can take care of me financially, emotionally, by myself. I don't rely on anyone for anything. I'm never gonna say, oh yeah, I have a family. No, I'm solo in this life, you know what I'm saying? Um, you have to be strong. You have to be strong in life to make it. 
Um, so, you know, if there's anyone that's watching this that is struggling, um, that does feel insecure, or that, you know, feels like they can't accomplish what they want, please don't let life is situations or other people's comments get to you. You need to be strong for yourself. Do it for you. Um, and the stronger that you are, honestly, the more successful that you'll be. That's real talk. All right, guys. Next question. What's the first... Oh, no, I apologize. What did I write? Oh, what's the worst place to go on your first date? Ugh, I think I'm going to have to say... What's the, what is the worst place? What's the worst place to go to on your first date? Let me see. You know what? I already know. I already know where to... Where? where? Joe's. Well, any crap, crap place. I feel like you cannot go to a crab place, a crab shack. Um, I got a Joe's crab shack around here where I'm from. That's where I usually go. And for your first dates, you do not want to go there. Well, if you eat like me, you don't want to go there. Because when I eat crabs, I'm not talking to you. There's no conversation. I don't know you till my crabs are done. Um, so at the end of the day, I don't think that's the best place to go to on your first date because, you know, you're trying to get to know the person, um, and you don't want to be all up in your crap and it gets messy, you know, you, you and your hands and stuff. And I know how y'all girls be, you know, you guys can't really eat, you know, all messy and stuff. There's a lot of girls that, you know, don't like to eat crazy on the first date. I get it. So, um, I feel like a crab spot, mm -mm, girl, not, not the place to go, not the place to go. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to do two more questions and then we're going to call it quits for today. All right. What is wait, I can't read. What's your favorite setting spray? Ooh, I actually have it right here. Hold on. Well, there's two right now. There's two that I really like. I have really dry skin, especially in the summertime. Well, no, I am lying. In the summertime, it does get a lot better. But in the winter, I get really, really dry. I have eczema. So like around like my um, right in between my brows usually right uh where everyone would get oily i get dry in the winter so if i have a full face um usually these are my favorite ones that i like to use i just bought this one and i bought the jeffree star the morphe jeffree star setting spray just because it smells like strawberries so i really like it morphe definitely is like my go-to the mist on this let me see if i if i can show y'all and i'm saying hold on one second can y'all see that? You guys probably can't see nothing. I don't know what I'm doing. But woo! It really smells like strawberries and it's so good. And then if I'm feeling like extra dry, like winter time, or if I want to be glowy in the summertime, um, I love to buy like a luminous setting spray, like a dewy setting spray, something that's going to make me look, um, you know, more glowy, uh, more hy hydrated. I guess the word you want to say? Yeah, hydrated. I usually go for like a dewy mist. Right now I found out that Morphe actually came out with a luminous setting spray. So it's this one right here. Oh my God, please do excuse my nails. Girl, quarantine, I haven't gotten my nails in on about six weeks. They need to get a fill. But this is the Morphe um, setting spray. It is, it smells amazing, amazing. It smells like perfume, literally. And right now I'm wearing which one am I wearing right now? I think I'm wearing the luminous one. And as you guys can see, it really gives you guys a very nice finish. So I definitely recommend those two. Those are my favorite right now. Hold on, my tablet just locked. So last question for the day. How can I fix my oily skin? My makeup does not last a long time. Hmm. So for you guys to fix, well, you can't fix oily skin. You can only control oily skin, I feel like. I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an expert. This is just my experience with my skin. Make sure that if you have oily skin, you have to first get a setting spray. Um, you don't want, you do not want to get this. This is a luminous, so it's, you're gonna be extremely oily. Um, you want to get like more of a matte uh, finishing spray. So it's gonna help you tone down on the oil. Oil control uh, translucent powders. I know, um, I believe Morphe has one. Um, I'm not sure. Girl, I haven't bought makeup in so long, so I really don't remember, but I know that you have, you know, there are translucent powders that are meant for oil control. I think Neutrogena has one as well if you guys are looking for more of a low, um, 
like cheaper price ones i think neutrogena has one uh that is for oil control as well so you want to make sure that everything that you're putting on your face is either water-based or you're using stuff that are for oily skin that is definitely one way to prevent um you know how your makeup will last a lot longer Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what type of videos you guys want me to do. Drop them down below. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications just so you guys know whenever I upload again. Follow me on IG, underscore Makeup on Fleek. I don't have a Facebook. I don't have a Twitter. I'm old school. I don't want to do all that. Too much work. Uh, please let me know what you guys thought of this video, and I will see you in my next one. Take care. Bye, guys. I could keep it with the trends. So good at welcoming the mess. It's been a while since I heard her say that.